name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. We are now in this holy season of Lent with Ash Wednesday, which we're called to contemplate our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as he suffered on the cross to die for us. Today is the day in which uh, it's Ash Wednesday we can receive the ashes. What is the purpose of the ashes? Priest can say one of two things. He can say, remember that you, from dust you came and from dust you shall return. The other is, be converted and believe in the gospel. The latter is related to the call to conversion. All of us are called to be converted. But most, most especially in this holy season of Lent, And then the words, from dust you have come, from dust you shall return. This actually comes from the book of Genesis chapter 3, 19, after the fall of Adam and Eve. And what the passage means is that one day we're all going to die. None of us can escape the reality of death. Wages of sin is death, St. Paul says uh, in his letter to the Romans. So Adam and Eve committed original sin. All of humanity has to die sooner or later. Now, how can we arrive at this, this conversion of our lives, conversion of our hearts, conversion of our minds, conversion of our whole beings? Well, hopefully not only will you receive your ashes today, but you will also go to go to Mass. Because ashes are important, but even more important is receiving the sacraments. Because ashes are, it's a sacramental, whereas the Eucharist is the greatest of all sacraments. So today, if you go to Mass, you have... The gospel, which is taken from Matthew chapter 6, which is part of the Sermon on the Mount, which Jesus says that he offers us three practices to arrive at this conversion of heart. Father Ahol presented a, a three-dimensional way of understanding what we can do to arrive at this state of metanoia, this state of conversion. He said we're called to Go up, go in, and go out. I like that. We're called to go up, we're called to go in, and we're called to go out. Up, in, out. What does this mean? Go up. Prayer. Go in, penance, go out, charity. So these three areas, going up, going in, and going out, I'd like to offer you three suggestions in these three different categories. Going up, up through prayer. What is the greatest prayer in the whole world? And it is the holy sacrifice of the mass, which is Calvary revisited. What can you do? This Lent, go to mass. Not just on Sundays, that's obligation, but Try to go to daily Mass and receive communion worthily. There's no greater action in this whole world for all of us than to go to Mass and to receive Holy Communion, which is truly and substantially the body, the blood, 
the soul and the divinity of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Nothing greater than that. So set aside half hour, 40 minutes a day to go to daily mass. <clears throat> this would be a, the best, the greatest of all Lenten practices that you could possibly carry out. So go up. Go up to Mass, the holy sacrifice of the Mass, and here we have Jesus on the cross. Every time we celebrate the Mass, this is what's happening. Jesus is offering himself to God the Father for the salvation of the whole world. This is truly happening in a mystical but a very real way. Believe it. Say, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Go in. So prayer, penance. How about a good confession? We're all sinners. And one of the best ways to undergo a metanoia, conversion experience, is by having recourse to sacramental confession. Prepare yourself well. Confess all of your sins. Be transparent. Have compunction. True sorrow. Have the firm purpose of amendment. Make the best confession in your life. And finally, go out. And that's charity. Almsgiving. Giving to others. Best way to give to others is by starting to practice charity. No, not so much outside the house, even though we have to try to live charity wherever we go, at whatever time, whatever circumstance that presents itself. But why not start in your own home? Maybe you know the saying, charity begins at home. Try to be kind, compassionate, patient, loving, merciful, ready to serve, in your own home, among your family members. Try, try not to lose your patience with anybody in your home, but try to serve as best you can all the members in your family, your husband, your wife, your son, your daughter, your brother, your sister, your family members. Otherwise, we can fall into what is called the Rip Van Winkle complex. What is the Rip Van Winkle complex? Is that we can be kind and loving and ready to serve everyone in the world, except in our own family, except to our own family members. So the the saying is so very true. Charity begins where? Charity begins at home among our family members. So there we have it, my friends. We want to arrive at this conversion, which the ashes on the head symbolize, be converted because the kingdom of God is truly at hand. There are three ways. Go up, go in, and go out. Go up through prayer. Greatest prayer is the holy sacrifice of the mass. Go in, conversion, through the sacrament of confession. And go out by the practice of charity, or service, or love. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. So I pray in my, and I hope that all of you, my friends, in this family, on Facebook, on YouTube, or we're forming a, a spiritual family, that all of us will really live out Lent to the fullest extent possible. And we will die to sin and rise to new life. So I'd like to give all of you a blessing at the beginning of Lent. You pray for me and I'll pray for you. The Lord be with all of you. May Almighty God bless all of you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
as Jesus said, be converted because the kingdom of God is at hand.